Hello, it's the Nortel guy. Uh, this segment is going to be on changing the name of an extension uh, on a CS1000, Nortel's uh, uh, PBX. And these codes should also apply to the uh, other uh, Nortel PBXs, such as the uh, Option 11, Option 81, and so forth. Um, first thing we need to do is get in front of the terminal. Uh, this is my terminal right here and um, we need to log in. If you're not familiar with how to log in, see my segment uh, titled Changing the Time on a uh, CS1000. That covers some tips about how to get logged in if you're not familiar with it. So I'm going to log in. Okay, uh, to change a name uh, the load for that, or the the load module we need to enter, is called uh, load 95 or LD 95. And there's a few commands you can use here. Um, you can print the name of a current extension, or you can print the current name of an extension. You can change, or you can also do new. And the time when you would do new is if an extension never had a name in the first place. Um, so if you try to do a change on an extension and it gives you an error, it might mean the extension never had a name to begin with. Anyway, I'm going to change an existing extension, but before I do that I want to see what the name already is on it. And the way I do that is by doing a PRT, that's Papa Romeo Tango. Um, and the type is going to be name. And the customer is zero. And nothing for page, nothing for digit. And the DN, this is the extension. In the Nortel world, extensions are referred to as DN, or directory numbers. Uh, let's see, this will be 54777. And it looks like the current name on there is Bob Avaya Guy. Well, that's not right, because 54777 is actually my extension. And I want it to read um, Steve, the Nortel guy. So, I'm going to do a... Um, a, uh, oh, I think I backed all the way out of the program. Let me get back in there. Okay, back in there. I'm going to do a change. Type is um, name, customer zero, digits nothing, DN is 54777. Okay, what's the name going to be? This is where you just enter two words, you know, so when there's first name, last name, or last name, first name. Okay, the display format, what it wants to know is do you want first name and then last name or last name first? Um, I recommend you don't change this. Just hit enter just to keep it the way it was. Okay, and that should be changed. And now it's prompted me to do another DN if I want. I'm going to do three stars to, um, to skip that. And let me do a PRT on what I just changed. Types name. Customer zero. Five four seven seven seven. And looks like it changed here. Here's my name. Used to say Bob Avaya Guy. Now it says Steve Nortel Guy. Um, so that's it on changing the name of an extension. Uh, this does not necessarily change the name on a phone. It changes the name of the directory number. So if that directory number appears on more than one phone, that name will appear when somebody calls or calls from that that extension number to another phone. Okay, that's it. When you're done, just do four stars to log all the way out and then I mean to get all the way out of the load and then do a LOGO to back out of the completely log out of the PBX and you're done. Thanks a lot.